Welcome to a lesson on determining if a first order differential equation is homogeneous. A first order DE in the form of dy dx equals f of x comma y is homogeneous if it does not depend on x and y separately, but only the ratio of x to y or y to x. So homogeneous equations are in the form of dy dx equals f of y divided by x or f of x divided by y. But often the definition only includes this. But remember, one divided by y over x would be equal to x over y. Another definition for a first order homogeneous differential equation is a DE in the form of dy dx equals f of x comma y is homogeneous if f of tx comma ty equals f of x comma y. The second definition is helpful if the function f of x comma y is complicated or if it's hard to write it as a function of a ratio. Now the reason it's so helpful to determine if a differential equation is homogeneous is if the first order DE is homogeneous by performing a substitution v equals y divided by x or y equals x times v, the differential equation can be solved using separation of variables. So in this video, we're not actually going to solve the differential equations. We'll just determine if they are homogeneous or not. And one last thing to mention, if the first order DE is written in differential form, or this form here, it's homogeneous if function m and function n are homogeneous functions of the same degree, or they satisfy this definition here which we saw on the previous video when we discussed homogeneous functions. So the important part here is both function m and n would have to satisfy this equation here where alpha is the same exponent. Okay, let's take a look at our examples. And again, for this video, we're going to focus on trying to write the right side of this differential equation as a function of y to x or x to y. So looking at this equation here in this first term, we have a y squared. If we're focusing on writing this as a function of y divided by x, we'd have to have the denominator of x squared. So what we're going to do here is multiply both the top of this fraction by one over x squared and the bottom of this fraction by one over x squared. If we do this, notice how we'll have dy dx equals, we would have three times y squared over x squared plus xy over x squared. And our denominator would just be x squared over x squared. Now we're going to simplify everything and see if it's a function of y to x. Looking at the denominator, this is just going to simplify to one. So now we'll simplify the numerator. Three times y squared divided by x squared can be written as three times the ratio of y to x squared plus here one factor of x simplifies out. So we're left with y divided by x. Notice how the right side, or f of x, y, only, only depends on the ratio of y to x. Therefore, this is a homogeneous differential equation. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, our goal is to write the right side of this differential equation as a function of y to x or x to y. So the first thing to recognize here is that we can combine these two logarithms. These two logs have the same base and we're subtracting them. So we can write this as dy dx equals the natural log of x divided by y plus our fraction, the quantity x minus y, divided by the quantity x plus y. Now remember, even though our notes over here show f of y divided by x, since we already have x divided by y, if we can show this is a function of x divided by y, it's also homogeneous. So if we take a look at this fraction here, we have this first term x. If we want this x to be x divided by y, we would have to multiply the top of this fraction by one over y, or one divided by y. And we can do this as long as we do the same to the denominator. 
Now let's go ahead and multiply and see what we have. So here we'll distribute, we'll have x over y minus y over y. That's our numerator. Denominator is going to be x over y plus y over y. So now we have dy dx equals natural log of x divided by y plus here we have x divided by y minus one all over another x divided by y plus one. Notice wherever we see a variable, it's always the ratio of x to y, and therefore this is also a homogeneous differential equation. Let's take a look at one more example. Notice on the right side we're dividing the numerator by a monomial, so we can write this as a sum of two fractions. We can write this as dy dx equals y to the fourth over x squared plus three xy all over x squared. Remember we can only do this when the denominator is a monomial or one term. Now let's see if we can simplify. Again our goal is to write this as a function of y to x. So we have dy dx equals, well we could write y divided by x to the second but notice how we have two factors of y left, so we have y squared plus here one factor of x simplifies out, so we have three times y divided by x. Notice how this is not a function of just y to x because of this y squared here. This part's a ratio of y to x, this part's a ratio of y to x, but this part isn't, therefore this is not a homogeneous differential equation. That's going to do it for this video. In the next video we'll take a look at one example of showing a first order differential equation as homogeneous using the alternative definition which we mentioned earlier given here. The differential equation in this form here is homogeneous if f of tx comma ty equals f of xy. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.